All right, Edwin here from Resolution as a Design, yet again with another video of a Shopify tutorial. Welcome back for those of you watching my part one, part two, part three series. Uh, this is video number three. So video number three, what we're going to go over is how to add these collections into your main menu navigation, the simple form, right? I'm not going to get all crazy with the mega menus. That'll be another video. So if you guys haven't watched my previous video, I do have a part one where I discuss about how to add products, you know, manually one by one, if you're a private supplier or if you're a drop shipper using a bare low AliExpress, how do you add products manually? Uh, I covered that in my part one video, which you can find on the description uh, or in the upper right hand corner on the link. The other video, which is the part two, I discussed about how to grab all those products and put them into collections. Uh, how to make manual collections, how to make automatic collections. So if you guys don't know how to do that, I encourage you to watch my part two. In part three of this video, we're gonna talk about how to get these collections inside of your main menu navigation. That's what we're gonna go over today. Uh, if you like this type of content, please don't forget uh, to subscribe, turn on that notification bell so that you'll be one of the first ones to know when the videos come out. Uh, and as well as let me know down in the comments, um, responding to all of your comments below. Uh, it's very fun talking to you guys. I want to help you as much as I can and let me know what other support I can provide. And also if you guys are part of like groups and stuff like that, that potentially can need, uh, may need this video, you could go ahead and share my link if you want, uh, to, uh, to a group or Facebook group or whatever group. Uh, give you guys permission to do that that's no problem okay let's get right to it so what we want to do is add these collections to the main menu navigation uh, in order to start right away i'm in the back end here i'm going to pay attention here to the left and i'm going to click on online stores by clicking on online store we're going to see some sub links all of a sudden come out you're going to be like hey wait a second this wasn't even here before and all of a sudden it just appeared right so we're going to click on online store and by default, you're going to notice themes is selected. So we want to click where it says navigation. Okay. And just to show you, this is the navigation system. Let's go to the front end of the website by clicking on this button right here. This eyeball button is just to see the front end of the website. What is the customer going to see when they shop into your store? And I have the debut uh, theme, nothing fancy, nothing crazy. Uh, but you know, of course I'll do turbo videos later on. I actually have a turbo video, uh, tutorials, but I'll share that with you later on right now in our main, right now in our main menu navigation, we have home and we have catalog, which really doesn't serve us any purpose. So instead we're going to go over here and we're going to find out where does this live? Who's controlling this? Because there are numerous types of menu navigations, right? There's the one for the header, which is up at the top. And then there's another one all the way here at the bottom. The, there's menu systems here as well. This is for the footer. So let's see what Shopify has for us here. When we click on navigation, we have a main menu and then we have a footer menu. So that's how you could see where it says home and catalog and the other one where it says search. Okay. The one we're going to worry about right now is main menu. So we're going to click on this link called main menu. And from here we have home and we have a catalog. Okay. So guys, I want you to take away something from this video as well. Uh, when you're building your website, you don't need the word home in there unless you're building a website for people who are over 60 years old or something like that, but you don't need home. Everybody uses the internet. They know what they know that by clicking on the logo, they go back to home. Everybody knows that. So you don't need a home there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that. We don't need home. And here's another one called catalog. Do not leave the word catalog that it's so generic. And it, and as you can see, Shopify gave you catalog as default. Don't use it. Don't, don't use it. Instead, use something like shop or something of that sort. Okay. So let's go ahead and well, let's delete it. Let's delete it. Cause we want to start from scratch. We don't have any menus here. We deleted both of them. Let's press save because we don't want to lose our spot. Now let's go here where it says add menu item. And the first one that we want to come out is sh uh, shop. We're going to select shop and shop. Eventually we want to nest it. We want it to have a drop down. But what happens when someone actually clicks on shop? If someone clicks on shop, right, then we want them to go somewhere. So let's go ahead and link it. We're going to click on this one, this box that says link. And it's going to ask us where, if someone clicks on it, where do you want them to go to? 
And the answer is we want them to go to a collection and we want them to go to a collection that we made called Shop All. Again, if you don't see this on your collections, go watch my part two video. I show you how to do that. I'm going to click on where it says uh, Shop All and we're going to go ahead and press Add. Let's save for now because you might be doing other things and we don't want you to lose your place. Next up, what we want to do is that we want to add those collections underneath. We want to nest them. By nesting them, it means that when you hover over it or when you click on it, like a drop down menu comes out. We want sub menus, right? These are main menus. When you hover over, you see a drop down. Those are sub menus. What we want to do is we want to create sub menus underneath the word shop. Okay. First, let's add the collection that we want to add here. We're going to click on add menu item. We're instead of typing in the name, we're going to type it. We're going to click right here where it says link. We're going to click on this box here and we're going to click on collections and here are our collections. The first one that I'm going to click on is black watches. Now pay attention. Do you remember? You could rewind this video if you want. Do you remember that I didn't type anything under name? Did you, did you realize that? Did you catch that? I did it on purpose for this reason. Click on link, click on collection, then click on the name of the collection. In this case, it's black watches. Now watch this. See, by doing this, uh, by selecting black watches, the, the box called name has been automatically been populated by Shopify. It doesn't do it the other way around though, but that's why I like doing it this way. First click on link, select the collection and boom, the label comes out here. Otherwise you have to type it up, which is more time consuming. Let's go ahead and press add there. We're going to add another one. This other one is going, we're going to do this again. Notice how name is empty. We're going to click on link, click on collections. Now we're going to click on blue watches. Okay. Blue watches automatically gets titled. We press add. Okay. Now let's press save. Now the reason why I'm doing it this way is just in case if you want your collections to come out in the highest tier level, highest tier means that there's no drop down, but I'm going to show you the drop down, but I'm showing you first the non drop down method. So I press save. Let's go back to our front end here and let's press refresh. And as you can see, we have shop. We have blue watches, uh, black watches and blue watches, right? If I click on shop, you'll notice all of the products are there. If I click on black watches, you'll notice that just black watches exist. If I click on blue watches, you'll notice that blue watches exist. But again, let's pretend that we don't want that. If you want this great. And, and by the way, this method works for those businesses that have very small catalogs. Like they only have like four different variations of things and they rather just have it all here where it's easy to buy. But let's pretend that you have a large catalog and you want that drop down. Let's go over here and let's nest them. Let's nest the collections underneath the word shop. We're going to notice right here on the left hand side there are freckles and these freckles allow us to kind of like move things around. So I'm going to go on this one. See the little Mickey Mouse hands. I'm going to click hold, drag up. And when I drag up a little bit, you notice that that blue line came out. Are you guys paying attention to that little circle, that circle on the left? Do you guys see it? That circle is asking for the hierarchy level. And right now the hierarchy level is all the way to the left. That means that it's at maximum, but I'm still holding the, the mouse, the mouse keyboard. What am I talking about? I'm still holding the mouse. I have not let go yet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the mouse while still pressing down on the mouse. I'm going to move it towards one o'clock like this. You saw that? That that's how it was originally. This is if you nest it. Now I'm gonna let go. And that's how you do that. Okay. If I deserve a like button, let me know. Right? So if I save it like this, how's this going to look like now? Let's go back to our front end. That's why I like to keep two tabs open guys. Cause I always like to go to the front end and all, every time you do a back end change, always refresh on your front end. And there you have it. We have shop with a nested value called black watches. We're going to also get blue watches underneath shop. Let's do that next. I'm going to click and hold this one. But instead of doing that same process, now I'm just going to move a little faster. I'm going to click and hold this one and put it underneath this guy. See that? 
I'm going to do that and press and I'm going to let go and press save. Okay. And let's go see over here let's press refresh. And there it is. Now we have our sub menu items, click on them. You see that go over here, click on this. You see that there. Okay. So, so far, so good. We have some nested items. Okay. We have what we've learned today on this video is how to create or how, how to delete first the default menu items. And then we created a main menu item. And then we attach the collection to that main menu item, as well as add a label to it. A label meaning what is it going to say? Then we've also added a collect uh, several collections, which we had it at the highest hierarchy. And then we also nested them. These are nested uh, menus or sub menus. Okay. If you want to add more, you could add more here to go within the sub menu items. Or if you want to add just another menu entirely, you could do that. So here as well. So in this particular case, I do want to add other menus, but in this time, they're not necessarily collections. They're perhaps pages that I haven't even invented yet, but I know I'm going to have them. And so let's do that. Let's go ahead and create a new item. And this time we are going to add a label to it because we haven't created the page yet. All right. And in this, in this particular instance here, what we're going to do is we're going to add a page called contact us. Okay. But there isn't a link yet because remember, I haven't created that page yet. So for testing purposes, I'm going to put the, the hashtag pound sign or whatnot. I'm going to put that there. What does this mean? It means that if you click on it, nothing's going to happen. It's just going to take you back to the homepage. I'm going to click on that contact us, right? And I'm going to put another one. I'm going to put one more and this one's going to be called track my order, which of course I'm going to install an app in a future training, but I don't have anything yet for it. So I'm also going to put this hashtag sign there and press add and press save. Now let's take a look at how our front end development is looking like by pressing refresh there. There you go. So we have a shop, we have a contact us and we have track my order. Okay. Uh, what would be another one? Cause this almost looks semi empty. Maybe we should add one more in theory. How many menus should you guys have? Um, three is a little bit on the minimum side. Four would make it feel really nice. So let's go ahead, add one more, another page. Let's call it wholesale and on wholesale. I'm going to go right here and press this one and then do that and then go ahead and press save. Now let's see how this looks like on the front end. Nah, it looks nice and complete, right? So we have shop nested menus. We have contact us, track my order wholesale. We're looking nice over here. Okay. Oh, we're not done yet. Did you guys remember about that footer? Well, sometimes people want to have, uh, how do you call it? Footers with the shopping options. So let's back out one second here on the back end. You see how we're still on main menu. Let's back out here. So we have the main menu with all of these good guys right here, right? But we have a footer menu with just this search thing. Oh no, no good. Let's go here to the footer menu and let's get rid of this search because really no one uses that. If anybody uses search, they use search on the upper hand side, not at the footer. So right here, we're going to kind of do the same thing, right? Uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to add those collections, right? So we're going to go right here to, um, black watches, right? We're going to go black watches and we're going to go right here to where it says collection blue watches. I'm going to add another one called new arrivals. And then I'm going to add another one shop all there. I haven't saved it yet though. You guys noticed that, right? So if I'm going to organize this in order, I'm going to say, first, I want people to see shop all. Then I want them to see new arrivals, then the black watches, then the blue watches. Let's press save for now. And let's go see on the back end as to what that looks like. There you have it. Quick links, shop all new arrivals, black watches, blue watches. Now, why does this show like this? Why does it show like uh, horizontally? That's because of the theme, right? And that's why I say turbo theme all the way, but there, you guys are going to learn some new themes coming this year soon. All right. But for now, that's what we have here. Okay. And on the footer menu, I would like to call this, um, well, no, let's just leave it at that. You could call it whatever you want. 
So what did we learn today on this video, guys? We learned how to set up the main menu navigation and how to connect those collection pages over into your main menu navigation system, which is up here up top, right? As well as just set up other navigations, but we never actually created the pages. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this training. Again, uh, I really, really like your support, guys. I do this channel for you guys. Let me know what other videos I should pop out here uh, for your knowledge. Um, and once again, thank you one more time. Next video, what I'm going to show you guys is how to create pages. In other words, how to create informative pages and attach and, and attach those to the to the websites here too, such as the contact us page or maybe a wholesale page or something of that sort. We're going to talk about that next soon. And also tell me what other videos you guys want. Other than that, thank you very much. Have a good one.